You know, giving is one of the most important parts of the holiday season, right? If not the most important part, the Ranch and Coast magazine has dedicated its December issue to inspiring their readers to donate to local organizations working to make an impact in our community. Joining us live to tell us more is co-publisher and editor Mia Park alongside some of the representatives that are featured in this magazine here. Mia, how are you? Happy holidays to you. Well, this is cool. A lovely design on the magazine Thank here. You. Uh, but what it's what's inside that we're here to talk about here today, right? Right? Yes, so exactly. tell us a little bit about uh, the magazine and what it's dedicated to this month. Perfect. Well, Ranchy Coast Magazine, we're celebrating our 60th year um, serving wow. San Diego next year. Okay. Um, and kind of the heart center of Ranchy Coast has always been highlighting causes in the community that make a difference for those um, in need. Yeah. But it really goes into high gear in our December issue. And that kind of started back in 2020 when we realized the needs in the community grew exponentially. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, but we also saw that our readers wanted to rise to the occasion and really step up and help. Okay, great. And so it became that perfect um, opportunity, but also we felt a responsibility to um, expand upon our editorial coverage and really shine the light on those digging in and serving the community. And we wanted to kind of cast that net wide sure, and show sure. all the various ways and people and animals and healthcare ways to give back. Um, so this feature in our issue is written by our managing editor, Deanna Murphy. Okay, great. Um, and it highlights five organizations. Um, we have Meals on Wheels, San Diego County, Monarch School, Laughing Pony Rescue, Helen Woodward Animal Center and their um, Pets Without Walls program, and then uh, Cancer Revengers. Awesome, and we have some of those. We have folks four of them are here today. today. That's great. Yes. Let's uh, chat with our Meals on Wheels friends here. Hi, your name's sir. Hi, Keith Fisher with Meals on Wheels. Keith, uh, obviously, you guys do some great work. Uh, you're proud to be uh, part of this uh, episode here, yes. this uh, this issue here. Yes, privileged, honored, and grateful. Tell us a little bit about uh, the work you guys do and uh, what the community can do to help out. Okay, so we have been around 63 years, just a little bit older than Ranching Coast. <laughs> there you go. Um, started in 1960 by a group of women who had this philanthropic and entrepreneurial entrepreneurial idea to to bring services to homebound seniors. Yeah. Um, today we serve all of San Diego County from Imperial Beach to Valley Center. Wow. We hit every corner of the county. That is quite the the, the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we provide um, fresh meals every day. T today we have um, tuna steak, which is today's fresh meal. Yesterday's was a beefsteak sandwich, um, locally sourced. Thank you, Holandia Milk. Yeah. Um, and and this. Um, Fresh tuna actually is donated every year. Okay. We have about 40,000 pounds There's a great need donated. right now. Yes, yeah. there is, yeah. Absolutely. Um, we have a lot of homebound seniors. What we like to say is that we bring a hot meal, a warm smile, and uh, a, a healthy check-in, a wellness check-in um, awesome. for every senior every day. Well, we appreciate the work you guys do here. Hi, what's Hi, your name and my, who are you with? My name is Laura. I'm with Laughing Pony Rescue. Laughing Pony Rescue. Tell yeah. us the great work you guys do. So we rescue animals of all sorts, mostly horses and donkeys. We rescue them from all over. We rescue them from feedlots and from slaughter. We house 14 horses, four donkeys, three goats, and three roosters. Wow, that's going to um, require a lot of feed. Yeah, it certainly does. And we offer education programs, therapy programs, camp programs. Mm. We offer mindfulness retreats. We can do corporate retreats, and all the money saves animals. Awesome. Uh, with a lot of sur surrenders happening lately with there everything are. that's been going on? There are. Okay. There's an increase in feed. There's really a huge increase in need Great right to know now. there's a service out mm -hmm. there like yours. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello. How are you doing, Hello. sir? You're doing? with Monarch. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Your name? Chuy Nunez. Okay. And tell us a little bit about uh, Monarch. Yeah. Monarch School, we're the only school of its kind in the country, K through 12 public school. All of our students are unhoused. And we're, again, we're a public school with a private partnership. Yeah. And it's the private partnership that I work for, the Monarch School Project. We provide wraparound services, arts, athletics, uh, education, mental health offerings, and parent family engagement. Yeah, quite honored to be a part of this magazine, right? Oh, absolutely. It, it means a lot. And, you know, we've always said that, again, San Diego is America's finest city because we have America's finest citizens. And it's these causes and these people that are helping uh, advance this mission. And we're in the middle of our scaling efforts. The fact that there's only Monarch San Diego, this yeah. is not a San Diego uh, issue. It's not a California. It's a it's a national uh, issue, and you know we're at the forefront of scaling the efforts up yeah. to make sure we reach our most vulnerable communities. You guys do great work for our thank kids. You. I'll tell you what. And you know who does great work for our animals? Helen Woodward. Hi. How are you? Hi. Thank you so much for having Your us. Your name? Does it matter? This is Garland. This is, the star. This is Garland. I, 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 well, that's who I was asking. I was saying your name. Yeah. Hi, Hi buddy. This is Garland. She's 11 months or 11 weeks old. Okay. Terrier Blanche from one of our partners in California. Okay. So this is her first time on TV. Oh, 
Exchange oh, is going to wow. be available for adoption soon. No kidding. Yeah, okay. so at the center, we've been doing Helen's original vision for her past 50 years, and that is animal adoption and the importance of humane education, teaching our youth yeah. today for our future tomorrow. Awesome. But Ranching Coast was grateful enough to um, honor us in the magazine yeah. to spotlight one of our therapeutic programs that we do for the community, Love and that's it. our Pets Without Walls program, where we actually have a mobile unit that goes out four times a month to different places around this, um, San Diego. We started with the homeless shelters with Father Joe's partner back in 2017. Oh, incredible. We bring this mobile unit and we provide free food Flea tick medication, yep. spay neuters, vaccines. Okay, I what just got, I got to ask Mia one more time yeah. where people can learn more about the magazine. Is there a website? Ranchingcoast.com. Ranchingcoast.com. Yes. All right, stay with us. We're taking a quick break, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh, what Yay. a sweetie! Oh. Gosh, I have to steal this. <laughs> 